What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. This is the last Saturday of 2023. Can you believe it? Anyway, let's get into this video. I'm going to show you guys how to create a gang sheet in Vivid Rip. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what Vivid Rip is, Vivid Rip is a software that operates Rakoma's DTF printer, DTG printer, and white toner transfer printer. So you can make gang sheets for your Rakoma Luminars RP200, your Rakoma Vision DTG printer, or your Rakoma Revel 2402, or the other number uh, DTG printer. You can create gang sheets because everybody likes gang sheets. Everybody wants to order gang sheets. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to create gang sheets directly in the software if you have multiple images that your customers are sending to you. Or, um, oh, and by the way, on the website, alanaway.com, I just added where you can um, order gang sheets, all right? Uh, you but you do have to create your gang sheet in a graphic design software. You guys are not going to have VividRip because VividRip comes with those pieces of equipment. But um, if you want to create your gang sheets in your Adobe Photoshop, your Adobe Illustrator, or your Affinity Designer, or your Affinity Photo, you or whatever other graphic design software you use, you can create your gang sheet and choose which one you want on alanaway.com, DTFs, choose which one you want, you know, how long you want your gang sheet, and I'll make the gang sheets for you, okay? So, um, let's dive into uh, Vivid Rip software and show you what we have going on. All right, so we are in Vivid Rip right here, and let me show you what Vivid Rip looks like, the icon for Vivid Rip. If I go to the bottom of the screen, can I go to the bottom of the screen right here? Can I see it? Um, let me minimize that. Uh, so this is what Vivid Rip looks like right here. This is the icon for Vivid Rip, all right, right down here or up here on the desktop. Vivid Rip, all right. That's what it looks like. So let me open back up Vivid Rip right here. So this is the gang sheet that I created, and I already created a file to export to my DTF printer. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this right here. Um, remove, and it's going to clear out this specific job. All right. So right here in the Vivid Rip software. I'm going to put in that I have a 23 inch wide uh, workspace, which is the 24 inch, the new 24 inch wide that we got on our Revel. So I'm going to uh, select that and that opened up our page right here. So let's start creating our gang sheet. I'm going to go to plus right here. And these are actually customer files that I'm working on right now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, navigate to my file. Kali, he's the first one up. I'm going to select his image and he ordered an 11 inch wide image. So right here, here's his image. It opened up really, really big. I'm going to navigate over here to where it says the arrows is pointing left to right. And I'm going to go ahead and type in one one, which is going to make his image 11 inches wide, right? And on the page, I'm going to go ahead and once again, select the 23 inches because it changed back to 11 inches wide. So I'm going to select a uh, um, 23 inches wide page for the Revel DTF printer. And over, over here, you can see I have his image 11 inches wide when I went to job. So page controls how big the page is. Jobs controls how big the image is. Image manipulation for jobs, page manipulation for the actual page of the document. All right, so I went ahead and made this 11 inches wide like he requested from the website. And um, it's that 11 inch wide is makes the um, image 14 inches long. Okay, so that's a pretty long design he got going on right there. All right, so that's the main thing you want to lock in first before you create your... Um, your um, Gang sheet, you want to lock in the size of the job or the size of the image. Lock that in. All right, so next we're going to import the other image and hit plus right here. And I'm going to navigate to my documents folder and I'm going to find Chrissy Allen's images right here. Boom. And she also ordered, I went ahead and pressed OK so I could open that up. She also ordered an 11 inch wide um, image. So just for you know, giggles, I'm going to go ahead and select the 23 inch wide because that's what I'm working with. And I'm going to also make hers 11 inches wide. There's that image right there. Okay, so now that I have an 11 inch wide image 
for both people because that's what they ordered. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit this right here. All right, I'm going to select this image. And I'm going to select that image right there, both of them. And I'm going to go ahead and come down to right here, Pages. And with having both images selected, and I've already locked in the size of the image on their individual pages, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit Nest All. Nest All is going to put both of those images on one page, all right? So when I click Next, uh, Nest All, I go to, it will nest all pages in the current queue. Do you want to proceed? Yes. So that's going to put both those images on one page, as you guys can see right there. I got both images on one page. Verify that the size is correct because you still can manipulate the size on here by boom over here. And if I select this, you see right here I have that image. So now I want to go ahead and create more images on that specific sheet, creating our gang sheet. All right, this is where the fun comes in, guys. All right, so now with this image selected right here, I'm going to go ahead and hit go to page right. No, I'm sorry. With this image selected right here, I'm going to go ahead and hit copies. And, um, and it put when you open up the copies, it's going to put another image side by side. As you can see, the visual representation on here got images side by side. Let me try to zoom in right there so you guys can see. Can I move up? Oh, I can't. I don't know. See, this doesn't give you a. Let me see. Okay. That's okay. I'll just leave it like this. Okay. Let me. If I zoom up and I put fit the page. Nope, nope, let me reset that right there. Hit that right there. Okay, so um, this right here will give you columns left to right. That's not what we want. We want columns up and down. All right, so she ordered three images, prints of this. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that in a second. And I'm going to space them out so that when I trim them, I'll have space. So I'm going to give them like 20 inches of space up and down all right so when I hit generate when I hit OK it's gonna put three of them right here uh, didn't do that okay let me let's try that again guys copies all right boom 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 okay all right so it <laughs> did it that time I don't know why I didn't do it the first time computer glitch I don't know so now I have a gang sheet because Kali ordered one and uh, she ordered three but I'm gonna go ahead and give her four alright so I'm gonna go ahead and press one more and that's gonna give us another one I'm gonna show you guys how to put one more image in all of those okay so say for example we have our image right here we can go ahead and drag another one in. that's not now see this is not gonna work and the reason why it's not going to work is because it's this image right here is not in our nest. All right. It's not in our nest. So what, what happened is it opened up an entirely different image for us. Right. So let me see if I can take a nest and put it with a nest to create a new nest. All right. So boom, page and nest all. All right. And let me see if it nests that third image in with our first nest. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got that, we got this, and we got that, but we don't have all three of them nested together. Reason being, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and we'll manipulate the page size to 23. All right, we'll manipulate this page size again to 23 because somehow I think it's separated all the page sizes. All right, and make sure that the size is 11 inches wide that you want it. This one right here um, is also 11 inches wide like I want it. This one right here, I'm going to keep nice and small, but I'm going to go ahead and manipulate the page size also to 23 inches. And I'm going to select all three of them. And again, I'm going to hit Nest All. All right. Now, this should put all three images on the same page. All right. There we go. Now, we got all three images on the same page. And again, I can go ahead and I can select this image. I can go ahead, hit copy and put one next to each other. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the spacing for the columns next to each other. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 20. And you guys can see it added another one right next to it. And I can go ahead and hit another copy down. All right. 
I'm going to adjust the spacing for that. Also, I'm going to put 30 this time, or maybe even 40. 40, and I'm going to go over here and change this to 40 also because that spacing is too small. I'm going to hit enter. All right. And that didn't, okay, there we go. So now you see, I put three right here. I mean, put four. Jesus Christ, what is it doing right here? It's five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, why is it doing that? Stop, stop. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason, it does not want to make copies the way I want it to make copies. If I hit enter three, no. So you got to actually select the image, and then you got to hit copies over here in order to manipulate it. Okay, so that's interesting. Didn't know you had to do that. And then if I hit OK, then it actually makes the copies like that. But I can't manipulate it this way. It doesn't want me to do that. Actually, you can reduce. Oh, my gosh. This is confusing, guys. Okay, so that is how you create a gang sheet in uh, Vivid Rip software. So now we got a gang sheet. We got one of these. We got four of these. And we got these random images right here. Now, when they're all nested together, you can't select that file individually anymore because these are all grouped these are all one group and of course this is just one okay so that's how you take three different images you can do the same thing with four different images and um, when you select all of them from this top part right here and go to page and then you can hit nest all and then it'll put all the images on one page for you will work for um, your DTF, your DTG, your white toner, all that stuff right there, guys. So um, after this, like for me, for me, for instance, I would go over here and I would select it. Um, and if I wanted to print, uh, unselect that, select this right here, unselect the individual image rather, and select the actual gang, and then go ahead and print to file, and that would create my PRT file for go for my um, DTF printer don't know exactly how it worked for vivid rip for I mean for the uh, DTG printer or the white toner but I would imagine you just go and you press print for the white toner and it will send it out to the white toner of course you'd have to have the appropriate size and stuff but that is how you create a gang sheet in Rakoma's vivid rip software guys I hope this video was helpful now head on over to alanaway.com right now type in DTFs and buy your DTF transfers I just put in the gang sheet options for you guys type in DTF right here you guys can go ahead see I don't have any uh, picture of the gang sheets but you guys can go ahead and select the gang sheet option right there and once you select the gang sheet option you can choose from if you want a 24 by 24 inch gang sheet you want a 24 by 36 inch gang sheet 24 by 48 inch gang sheet and actually, I'm going to change these beginning numbers to 23 because you guys are going to go all the way to the edge. I know you are. So I got to change that to 23. So we'll have some bleed room on both sides. All right. Um, 24 by 60 inch, 24 by 72 inch, 24 by 84 inch and 24 by 96 inch. And all the price options are up there starting all the way from $28 going all the way up to $112. Or you can go ahead and select... If you want the same image, if you want to, uh, uh, for right now, my my sheets, individual sheets are $6 each, but that price is going up after the January 1st is going up. So you can go ahead and choose between if you want custom, if you want 20 custom inch uh, DTFs, and you can select whether you want a 10 inch images, 11 inch images, or 12 inch images, all the same price upload your image and add it to cart you can go ahead and choose if you want 10 DTF images right here 10 inch 11 inch and 12 inches upload your image add to cart same thing and how many you want right there how many you want of that All right or you can go ahead and select that you just want one image and you can select that and add to cart and then select if you want another image go back to this select the size change the image and add to cart and then you know what I mean so you got I, you guys got a little bit of options right now the next step that I'm going to put on the website is a few options for left chest images left chest images and of course we got to do the tags and then I'm going to have shirt tags and then I'm going to have the images of those which I didn't add yet but it's the weekend, didn't have any chance to take any pictures of a gang sheet, didn't have any pictures to take any uh, chance to take images of uh, left chest, and didn't have any 
chance to take images of um, a tag. But I'm going to put all those options on the website for you guys. So thank you. But you guys can use the gang sheet for your uh, for your tags if you want to create that gang sheet for that. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful on the weekend. Showed you how to make gang sheets on Vivid Rip software. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?